You want to support Roller Mark Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roller Mark Unfiltered. By going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com, you can make this possible. First of all, roll my crazy ass white people, uh, Stinger, please. You can say that again, too. Crazy roll that. This goes with... I'm white. I got you, huh? On my property. Whoa! Hey! Okay, I really need the crazy ass by people segment for this one. Okay. <laughs> Tashif Turner. Y'all know he black. Tashif. Tashif. <laughs> you, you, you ain't. Y'all. You ain't never met a white. You ain't never met a white Tashif. First of all, first name Tashif, last name Turner. Yeah, Turner. Yeah, yeah, I imagine that he's not a Caucasian. Probably from the Nat Turner lineage. <laughs> to Chief Turner from Detroit. Oh, damn. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's triple blackness right a there. A Detroit street artist known as she Five McFly. <laughs> y'all. I wonder if eight Y'all, Lord Lord have mercy. Y'all, oh, this actually happened. Cute. My man was arrested while painting a mural that had been commissioned by the city. He was painting a mural on a viaduct when a cop stopped him. He didn't have his city permit at the time. After trying to explain the situation, four or five police cars were sent to the site. A city official showed up to try to de-escalate the situation and explain the misunderstanding. But the cops were not having it. Detroit Police Department spokesperson, Sergeant Nicole Kirkwood, told the Detroit Free, Pl Free Press that McFly was uncooperative and was arrested for allegedly resisting and obstructing police, as well as, you guessed it, on an outstanding parking ticket. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 Roland, I'm going to say something that's gonna, probably going to piss you off, so I'm, I'm moving all my stuff. Go ahead. So you, so you want to have me. But it's that kind of treatment by white folks. Right. Of black folks. Right. That has some black folks saying, Kamala, how <laughs> could you marry that? Now, I'm not saying it's rational. I'm not doing all that. I'm talking about what the impulse that people are having with the perpetual assault by white males on black people that's now on videotapes since, we, since this thing was invented. And, and that's what's going on. I'm not talking about Ados. I believe let's bring, bring Ados in this. I'm talking about people outside of Ados who are having impulse like, she ain't down. She's sleeping with the enemy. Now, let me close with this. Getting mad at black folks for dysfunctional behavior and acting out like this. It's like getting mad at somebody for limping after a car accident. There's been trauma, there's been an assault, and we just saw one. We saw <laughs> one earlier, a moment ago, and now we saw one on this brother. They probably have another assault coming. These are the kind of things, along with what I said about the media and this racist bias, these are the kind of considerations happening in the black psyche when they see a certain situation. And when this person held himself up to be president, they were like, I don't know if she has my back. Bro, that's part of what's going bro, on. The man painting a mural on city property commissioned by the damn city. Logic. And a city official shows up to explain it, and the cops still not listening. Every single one of those cops should be suspended and put their ass on desk duty, Brooke. Yeah, they're dangerous. And what uh, we were say talking about earlier, they don't have the mental capacity to have the job, period. And it, it does, we, we keep bringing it back around to Kamala, and I, I feel bad about that, but well, she shouldn't be blamed, like, as it's like sixth degree of separation. I agree, but she of what these people are doing. I'm telling you what's behind behavior. But let me also it's say that. Go ahead. We, go we, go we, ahead. Um, give okay. attention to all bad behavior? Yeah, and here's my problem with, with that lot, and I know you're saying that it's not logical, but a lot of these it's people not. that are playing or they're saying that about her are going home and sleeping with white women. Let's just keep it real. Well, Let's keep it really real. I don't know about Let's that. Get, I do, because I have seen pictures with some of these men on here who try to kind of act like they're all pro-black, and then you look and see their family pictures. Oh, they tripping. Okay. So, listen, <laughs> if it's good, I got if it's good for the group, it. it's good for the gander, okay? See, let's, uh, let's we got to have a show real. about this, Roland. Let's keep it real. Right. We have to have a show about this nuance. This is so nuanced. Yeah. That ain't nuanced. Yes, it ain't nuanced. It ain't nothing nuanced. Every woman I've been with black, that ain't nuanced. I agree with you. All right, folks, back to our Roland Mark unfiltered video in just one moment. Hey, guys, they're back. 
MarijuanaStock.org has another great investment opportunity. If you were lucky enough to invest in their last crowdfunding campaign, you know they raised a bunch of money in just a few months investing in legal marijuana farms. Those initial investors now own shares of a publicly traded company. Folks, the last time many of y'all missed it, y'all been sending me emails like, can I get involved? Well, you now have a second opportunity. This new investment opportunity uh, is as good, if not even better than the last one. I'm talking about industry hemp CBD. For those who don't know, the hemp plant is the cousin of marijuana with a much higher concentration of CBD, which means hemp CBD gives you all the medical benefits of marijuana without getting you high. Until recently, hemp farming was practically illegal in the U.S. and heavily regulated by the DEA. However, the 2018 Farm Bill changed all of that, making it legal to grow hemp CBD in the U.S., creating one of the largest commodities worldwide. They need land to grow all of the plants, which makes for an incredible investment opportunity. And that's where our good friends at 420 Real Estate come in. Their business model is simple. They buy land that supports hemp CBD grow operations and lease it to licensed high-paying tenants. That's right, they are hemp CBD landlords, and you can get in on the action by investing in their crowdfunding campaign for as little as 200 bucks up to $10,000. If you want more information, go to MarijuanaStock.org. That's MarijuanaStock.org, and yes, it is a black-owned company. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video.